Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and it's another Regulatory Tuesday. So, I don't know if you all out there know what congestion pricing is when it comes to traffic. Uh, this is something that if you use Uber, you're probably very familiar with in that Uber charges different rates depending upon how heavy the traffic is and how big a demand there is for an Uber. Well, the government has got a ridiculous plan to start doing some of the very same things. Not all governments, mind you, this is mostly going about on cities on the left coast here of America. Um, Seattle, a few years ago, got away with charging tolls for the construction of a new uh, bridge for an interstate so that they could waste taxpayer money creating road diets in the middle of downtown Seattle, creating bike lanes and walking paths and bike paths from your gas taxes, no less, while ignoring the roads and not repairing bridges, to then turn around and charge tolls on a brand new bridge to pay for it. Now, Here's what's really funny. The original estimate was over $400 million was going to be collected in tolls to pay for the bridge. The current estimation is $200 million. And the reason is, is because they realized they didn't have enough traffic going over the bridge and tolls would have to hit $4 during congestion times to account for $300 million. And that wouldn't even get us to the four. Now, cities like Portland, Salem, Eugene, San Francisco, and L.A. are all now batting around these ideas at some level or another. Many of these ideas are being pushed by crazy left-wing environmental watermelons. Now, why do I call them environmental watermelons? Well, because they are green on the outside and pinko kami on the inside. They are wanting to degrowth the United States, particularly these major cities. And one of the things that they are pushing are congestion pricing plans for tolling on interstates. Because they, and I quote, adding lane miles encourages people to get back in their cars and drive the interstates. So instead of building more interstate and allowing people to use a transportation method which is fast, reliable, and effective. They want to force people into mass transit or crazy commute hours or whatever they can in order to not have more people on the road during rush hour. But what this basically means is that they are trying to get tolls put on the I-5, the I-205, the 84, and the 405. And these tolls are supposed to range from 75 cents during serious off hours, such as two in the morning down the I-5, which nobody's really driving the I-5 at two in the morning, except for truckers and people who are absolutely crazy. Um, and $3 during prime time drive time. Now, as of yet, there is no discussion about like a monthly pass or a yearly pass to deal with these tolls, and I'm betting eventually that will become part of the plan, but I would like to see this whole thing stopped right now. Every time you, pay, you buy a gallon of gas, you are paying road taxes, and the fact that these people want you to pay tolls on top of road taxes for the same roads. Well, it's rather ridiculous. So it's time we stood up and said, no congestion pricing, which is basically just a fancy word for no toll roads. Thank you all again for joining me. If you like what I'm doing here, please like and subscribe on YouTube or thumbs up and subscribe on BitChute. Also, don't forget to check me out at the other social media sites down in my link description. And also, have yourselves a great day.